So how could ZLN 978 help? If you have lupus, it can feel like a multi-system attack affecting the skin, the joints, the kidneys, and the central nervous system, and so much more. A big part of this is driven by B cells producing a wide variety of autoantibodies. And these autoantibodies clung together with proteins to form something called immune complexes. These sticky complexes travel through the bloodstream and they get lodged in delicate tissues, like the kidneys, causing inflammation and perpetuating the damage. The theory behind a treatment like CLN 978 for lupus is that by removing the B cells, you'd remove the source of the autoantibodies. In RA, the primary target is the joints, or more accurately, the cartilage in the joints and those associated tissues. This leads to pain, swelling, stiffness, and long-term can lead to significant joint deformities. We know that B cells play a huge role here. They produce autoantibodies like rheumatoid factor and anti-CCP, but they're even sneakier in RA. B cells also act as antigen presenting cells, which means they actually show pieces of your own joint tissue to the T cells, essentially telling them, hey, attack this, and they're fueling the fire. So by using a T cell engager to remove these B cells, you could break the cycle in multiple ways. You stop the production of autoantibodies, you stop the B cells from constantly activating the T cells. For Sjogren's disease, this one's personal for me. Sjogren's is known for having rogue B cells. The rogue B cells are the main character in this disease state. They produce the classic anti-SSA or Rho and anti-SSB or LA antibodies we test for. And about 60 to 70% of patients with Sjogren's disease will have these blood tests positive. When we look at biopsies from salivary glands in a Sjogren's patient, we will see clusters of both B and T cells called lymphocyte or lymphocytic infiltrates. They are right there on the battlefield causing direct damage and releasing inflammatory signals that then lead to dryness, fatigue, pain, and all the symptoms we feel and experience from head to toe with systemic Sjogren's disease. The potential for a therapy like CLN 978 in Sjogren's is incredibly direct. The goal is to remove the very cells that are infiltrating and destroying the glands and which in about 10% of patients will go on to mutate further and cause lymphoma, which is one of the real fears that many of us living with Sjogren's have hanging over our heads. This could potentially allow those glands to heal improve their function, reduce systemic inflammation that makes us feel so exhausted and achy, 